As an American traveler, you'll find that basic everyday items or activities can sometimes be quite different when visiting another country and culture. But what about the US? There are things that we do that are baffling to visitors. Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Ernest from Trip Astute. In this video, I'm gonna cover my top 22 things that we do here in the US that most non-American travelers find to be odd when visiting. First off, this video is meant to be a fun list of observations. I did a similar video on things I noticed when I visited England a few years ago, and oddly enough, it's the most popular video on my channel. The irony of that video is that it's probably the video that I spent the least amount of time prepping or researching since it was just my observations. If I knew that it was going to blow up, I probably would have spent more time researching the various items that I covered. In fact, I had to do a follow-up video for it since I was getting so many hate messages on things I got wrong in the video. Secondly, there's obviously more heavy and serious differences with the US. While I'm going to mention items like healthcare and guns, I'm not trying to get too deep into these issues. Obviously, everyone has a different point of view and perspective, so I'm not looking for a political debate on this channel. If anything, this video is just meant to give you awareness of things that we think are normal or acceptable, but might be shocking to others. Before we jump into the list, if you're new here, welcome to our channel. Trip Pursuit is a travel channel that is focused on sharing ways to make travel easier, affordable, and more enjoyable. Traveling can be stressful and expensive, so we're looking for ways to help you maximize your experience through travel tips, points and miles, and innovative gear. If that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing. So let's review the items on my list. These are things that I picked up from friends and family who have visited and commented on them. Number one, using money that's the same color and size. I think most Americans never think twice about this until you visit another country and notice that the notes are different colors and sizes. I have to admit that I kind of like that our notes are the same size since they fit easily into my wallet. Though when I consider that those with disabilities might not be able to distinguish between different bills, it's changed the way I feel about them. I think a bit of color and variation would help even for those that might be visiting our country. Number two, aversion to coins. This is another thing that seems to surprise visitors and also something that I struggle with when visiting other countries. We seem to dislike using coins in the US and just from my personal experience, I rarely carry any coins in my pockets. I know people who don't even carry cash, though I'm definitely not there yet. But you'll notice fairly quickly that coins are much more popular outside of the US and you could argue that the longevity and durability of coin currency is much better than paper. Though I know that many other countries are also using polymer notes instead of paper to address the durability issue with cash. Number three, putting ice in our drinks. One thing that we take for granted is almost always getting ice cold water. This is not the case in many other countries, including places in Europe. In fact, some visitors find it off-putting that we always get ice in our water in restaurants. I like it, but I can see how it might be weird if you're not used to it. Number four, date format. If you travel anywhere else in the world, you'll likely see that the date is listed as day, month, and year, rather than month, day, and year. Most times it's easy to pick up, but there are times when this could cause major confusion. If you're traveling and you see a date that could be interpreted in different ways, you'll want to clarify to avoid any confusion. And I would assume if you're traveling abroad that the format being used is not the one that we use in the US. Number five, prescription drug ads. One thing that seems to make a lot of my international friends and family laugh is the prescription drug ads in the US. I think we're just so used to seeing them, but when I look at them objectively, I completely understand why someone would think that they're strange. Not only are they always cheesy, but the quick disclaimers at the end of the ads that warn of major complications or death must seem nuts to those that see them for the first time. Number six, adding sugar to food items. This is something that also shocks a lot of visitors. I think that there's been a lot more awareness of this issue in the past decade, but it's still hard to find basic food items without some added sugar, or even worse, high fructose corn syrup. Even something as simple as bread often has sugar added to it in the US, and it's an effort to find ones that don't have any sugar. Number seven, using the imperial system of measurements. We're one of the last holdouts of the imperial measurement system. While most of the world has adopted the metric system, we seem stuck on using miles, yards, gallons, and other outdated measurements. Though oddly enough, I was surprised that the British still use miles to measure distance, while using the metric system for most other measurements. And to complicate things even more, our gallon is different than their gallon measurement. It's so confusing. Number eight, getting free drink refills. One thing that we take for granted in the US is free refills. In most places in the world, it's not customary for restaurants to provide a free refill on drinks. Most times you'll have to pay for another drink if you want a refill. 
Number nine, having servers that take away your plate so quickly. This one is one that I hate as well. In the US, it seems like servers are racing to take away your plate as soon as they think you might be done. I can't tell you how many times I've just put down my fork only to have my server rush over and try to take my plate away. I think it's because it's perceived as a high level of service, but I'm with international visitors on this one. I wish they would just leave our plates alone until everyone finishes eating. On that note, number 10, taking leftovers home. In the US, it's often customary to take any leftovers from restaurants home. While it seems perfectly normal to us, I know it seems baffling to visitors from other countries. I like that we can take leftovers home, but it might also explain why our portion sizes tend to be larger than other places in the world. Number 11, having gaps in bathroom stalls. This is another one of those observations that I never even thought about until others started mentioning it to me. But it's true, most public bathroom stalls and doors in the US have gaps. I did research to find the reasons behind it, and to be honest, I couldn't find a concrete answer anywhere. If any of you know why, please share in the comment section below. I'm actually very curious about this one. Number 12, not having a lot of vacation time. This one is very true. The culture in the US is very work-driven, and as a society, we often prioritize productivity over wellness. In most countries, vacation time is double or triple what you would find in the US. This is definitely something that I would love to see in the US, especially given that I love to travel so much and often struggle with the time away from work. Number 13, weird payment rituals. Payments are one area where the US seems strangely behind. For example, the process of taking someone's credit card away from them and processing it outside of view is uncomfortable and strange for folks visiting the US. Almost everywhere else in the world, the transaction is processed at the table by the server in view of the customer. Also, the fact that we still sign for transactions and use personal checks for payments seems very outdated to a lot of international travelers, and I would agree. Number 14, keeping eggs in the refrigerator. I also wondered why most other countries do not keep their eggs in the fridge after doing some research, I found that there is a difference in the way that we treat our eggs, which makes them more susceptible to salmonella if left in warm temperatures. It's obscure, but it's just one of those things that I never questioned until I saw it in another country. Number 15, pharmacies that sell items other than medicine. In most other countries, pharmacies are dedicated places that sell medicine and help diagnose and treat medical conditions. In the US, pharmacies sell a lot of things that are not health related. In fact, you could argue that they sell a lot of things that are bad for your health, like alcohol, cigarettes, and even candy. I never thought about it, but it is strange. Number 16, resounding patriotism. We are a patriotic bunch here in the US, and you'll notice that we often are a lot more comfortable and accustomed to showing our national pride than others from other countries. I don't know if it's a good or bad thing, but it's just something to be aware of when traveling, and it might be worth reconsidering an overly patriotic outfit, especially if you're trying to blend in and really experience the local culture. Number 17, customizing your restaurant order. One thing that I find amazing in the US is that you can pretty much customize your orders in restaurants. Maybe you don't want bacon or you want your salad dressing on the side. Most things are fair game when you're ordering in the US. This is not the case when traveling abroad. You'd like to get a surly response if you try to alter menu items in most countries. Number 18, inconsistent age restrictions. Most travelers find our age restrictions to be very strange, and I have to agree. You can buy a gun and serve in the military before you can drink. It doesn't seem to make any sense. It's not uncommon to see younger folks enjoying a drink in other countries, and even families with kids enjoying an afternoon or evening at a pub. Number 19, strange fake cheese. When I was in grad school, I had a classmate from France who was intrigued by our cheese. Again, I never thought twice about it, but it is strange that you can buy cheese in the US that's in the spray can. Of course, these might not be real cheese, but the fact that we think of and classify them as cheese is completely odd to many visitors. Number 20, complexity of healthcare. Again, I don't wanna get into a debate over healthcare. There's enough of that on the news. However, it is a fact that our healthcare system is very complex. If you're a visitor in the US, and you need medical attention, you'll likely have to pay a lot of money out of pocket. This generally is not the case in other countries where access to healthcare is considered to be a right rather than a privilege. Number 21, gun culture. Another controversial observation is our acceptance of firearms. This isn't completely unique to the US. However, in terms of developed countries, the US is a lot more open to guns and other weapons than other countries. Even if travelers don't actually see them, there are enough signs and warnings to make visitors a bit uncomfortable. Again, this isn't meant to spark a debate. It's just an observation that others have shared with me when visiting. Number 22, perception of brands. 
This one was surprising to me. When I was in England a few years ago, I went to a pub with my wife's family. We started talking about beers and I mentioned that Stella Artois was a popular upscale beer in the US. Everyone thought I was nuts. In fact, Stella Artois is commonly called wife beater in Europe because of its high alcohol content and its association with binge drinking and aggressive behaviors. It still makes me laugh since Stella Artois has marketed themselves as a more respectable beer choice in the US and I've even seen it served at many work events when I was a consultant. On the flip side, there are US brands that I see marketed around the world that seem to be more popular outside of the US. This includes fast food brands like McDonald's, Domino's, and KFC. These places always seem to be packed when I travel abroad and the brand seems to carry a lot more weight than they do in the US. What do you think of this list? Are there other things that you thought were normal that you discovered were weird to visitors? Let me know in the comment section below. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If so, please give us a thumbs up and consider sharing the video with others. It may not seem like much, but it really helps us growing our channel and community. As always, we appreciate you checking out our channel and video. Until next time, travel safe and travel smart.